Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence, and in today's video we are going to be discussing an item that is often used in magical practices, the burning bowl. Now, a burning bowl doesn't have to be specific to a bowl. It can be an old pot you don't use, an old mixing bowl, it can even be a cast iron cauldron similar to this baby. And uh, as you can see, if you look up close, there's the tri uh, triquetra symbol. It's an old Celtic symbol on it. Um, got this at Spencer's. Uh, I think it was about at least 20 bucks. So these can get a little expensive. So that's why some people would prefer uh, an old uh, pot that they don't use or an old mixing bowl. But um, the purpose of a burning bowl is to usually banish things from their life. Usually during the uh, New Year's, people often like to write down things that they don't like about themselves or uh, old traits that they want to get rid of for the New Year and burn them away in a burning bowl. So let's say, for example, someone wanted to get rid of uh, stop overeating. Then you would just, you know, write, um, you know, overeating on a piece of paper. If you wanted to be more organized, you'd write um, disorganized. If you, uh, let's see, if you wanted to uh, get in shape, you'd write uh, not in shape. You know, just things that you are that you want to get rid of for the new year. You write it down on a piece of paper fold it up, put it in the burning bowl, and then you would close your eyes and say, out with the old, in with the new, these are the things I want to get rid of and burn away, and start anew. And then you would take a match, and you'd put it in the burning bowl, light the piece of paper on fire, let it burn all the way, and then therefore symbolically burning away all of those negative traits, and just starting clean. Some people might actually want to burn um, away memories that are haunting them. You know, uh, maybe memories that weren't so great of a past romance that didn't work out. Uh, an old family member who you've officially cut ties with, but it's hard because you keep uh, having memories of like good times with them. Uh, or just old pictures of yourself where you weren't satisfied with who you were back then and it's kind of inhibiting your ability to move forward you would put things like that in the burning bowl and just light them on fire let them burn away and therefore symbolically getting rid of them now that is just that is the main way burning bowls can be used but that is not the only way Oftentimes, you can write on pieces of paper spells <clears throat> that you want to have happen or prayers that you want to send to a particular god. Write them down on a piece of paper and then fold that piece of paper up as small as you can. <clears throat> and before you put it in the burning bowl, hold it in your hand, close your eyes, and kind of visualize what you want the what's on the paper to do. <clears throat> the spell or prayer. Imagine in your mind the outcome of that as if it was successful. What would be the outcome of that prayer or spell? What were you trying to get it to do? Visualize it as if it did already work. And feel the energy from that thought going into the piece of paper. <clears throat> Do this for as long as you want. The more you concentrate, the better the focusing energy inside the piece of paper. Now, you can put different herbs um, if you want like, for example, last night I did a spell uh, for a particular um, money-attracting spell. And I wrote everything I wanted to have happen on a piece of paper. I, I drew certain symbols on them, like pentagrams and um, dollar signs. 
Uh, and in between the folds of the piece of paper, I actually have them in my pocket. Hold on. I put bay leaves. Now, why bay leaves? Bay leaves are a symbol of Apollo who oftentimes grants wishes to people who burn bay leaves and write things down on them. I didn't write anything down on the bay leaves because it's, it's really hard, even on a like the most durable pen, to write them down. Uh, but I just put in between each one, and then I burned it, and I made sure it burned all the way. So uh, you probably can't see it, but yep, it's all the way burned. There's the ash is still in here. There is not much left in it, <clears throat> but uh, I tried the best I could to burn it all the way. But as you can see, some of it didn't burn, and you know what? That's fine. That is fine. Uh, as long as most of it has burned, you should be okay. But preferably, you do want it to burn as much as you can all the way through. Um, <clears throat> so, once you let it burn all the way, you let the smoke waft up and go into the atmosphere. And the energy will follow the smoke and reach to the realm of the gods. And this is another way of establishing communication with gods uh, by burning your intentions from a piece of paper, turning it into pure energy, and sending it up with the smoke. I have done this multiple times before, and it usually has a great success rate. Um, I have never used burning bowls for the original use. I have mostly used them for establishing uh, communications with certain spirits and gods. So, um, that's pretty much how I've used these. You can also burn different herbs in here. If you want to make like a almost like a homemade incense, but keep in mind that um, a lot of herbs when burnt do not smell too nice. Like I remember burning heather flowers in here, and this it smelled like almost like if you were baking cookies and you burnt them. It smelled like that, and I had to light a scented candle in here because it smelled like burnt crap all over my room. So, um, I would definitely keep that in mind, uh, because usually things, when burnt, do not smell too nice. Um, so that's why if you wanted to burn incense into a burning bowl, that is fine too. You can also use sage, uh, any kind of sage, white sage, blue sage, black sage, uh, any of those, you can just light on fire and put them inside here. And if they should lose, um, hold on, there's something in my eye. <laughs> if uh, they should lose the ability to create smoke, you just, I have like a blowtorch lighter, so I just give them another go around, and that does it. Last night, this really got to smoking. I mean, I think it was mostly like because the bay leaves and everything, but... Yeah, it was really smoking up. I did it outside. So if... Because I'm such a caring soul, and I like to make sure that anybody performing magic does it in a safe and healthy way, I am inclined to give you a word of caution. If you are going to do a burning bowl... Obviously, you want to make sure that you don't create too big of a flame. Um, besides the herbs and the paper, don't put anything else flammable in it. You want A small flame will be fine as long as it burns most of the way through and is just turned into nothing but smoke and ash. That is fine. You definitely want a metal container. You don't want to put it in a wooden bowl or anything. And you don't want to put it uh, anywhere where it could possibly 
the ashes can blow off and catch something else on fire. Obviously, keep them away from curtains and rugs. Um, if you do do this inside, make sure it's on a hardwood floor or tile. Um, obviously, if you are worried about setting off your smoke detectors, you might want to disconnect them temporarily. And if you don't want to do that in case there is a fire, you best just do it outside like I did last night. Uh, and I I didn't even do them on the grass. I did it on uh, the concrete that was in the backyard, uh, the little patio space. So um, I was extra careful and made sure that there was nothing around that could ignite. And, of course, if you have asthma... <laughs> Keep yourself away from the smoke because you don't want to agitate yourself or at least make sure you have your inhaler handy. <clears throat> so that being said, just want to make sure that you do it in a safe and healthy way. But it's simple to do and it's easy to clean up if you have a burning bowl. All you have to do is just toss these out. You don't have to keep them. If you want to keep them and use them in another spell, like this one was meant for money, so if I wanted to add this to another spell for money, I could easily add that in. Maybe with like a mixture, a water mixture, or even uh, put it in like an incense burner um, and just burn the rest of it. That's good too. But if you have no other use for it, you can just toss these out and that'll be it. Just make sure that it burns most, if not all, the way through. And also make sure that before you throw them away, that the ashes have fully extinguished, the flames have fully extinguished, and the smoke has officially stopped. You want as much smoke as you can possible to waft up into the atmosphere for the gods. And then once that is done, you can even leave it for a day just to make sure and then toss them out the next day. Um, there is not too much more use in keeping them. All right, guys, that is uh, pretty much it on how to use a burning bowl. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And uh, please share this, guys. Share this video and my uh, channel with as many people as you can. I'm trying to get this out there to help as many people as I can to help enlighten them on spiritual knowledge. Thank you guys so much, and have a blessed day.